Mourning doves are found all over the United States, parts of Canada, Central America, and the Caribbean. They make a gentle, some would say sad, cooing sound, which gives them their name. Like other doves and pigeons, the mourning dove inflates its throat, and the sound radiates through the skin. Its beak doesn't open. You'll hear a different sound when a mourning dove explodes into flight. That twittering is the sound of the wind moving through the dove's wing feathers. Some studies suggest it may be used as a warning of danger. These doves have grayish or brownish backs and creamy buff-colored underparts, sometimes highlighted with iridescent pinks and purples. Look for distinctive dark spots on the wings and blue skin around the eyes. There are other similar-looking doves, but if it's got a slender, pointed tail, you'll know it's a mourning dove. Even in silhouette, the mourning dove is easy to recognize with its heavy body, tiny head, small bill, and pointed tail. You might think they don't have much of a neck, but wait until something catches their attention. A mourning dove's nest is a loose tangle of sticks balanced on tree branches and ledges, even cactus and other unusual locations. They don't mind being around humans. Usually there are two plain white eggs in each clutch, and both male and female birds take turns incubating them. A newly hatched dove is called a squab. About two weeks after they hatch, the young birds are ready to leave the nest. The female can lay a new clutch every 30 days. Morning doves eat all kinds of seeds from cultivated grains and wild grasses, and they are one of the few birds that will eat millet. They feed on the ground, though they will sometimes try to wedge themselves into a bird feeder. On hot days, the doves may stretch out their wings to get cool. If it's raining, they may flatten their feathers so the water flows off. <laughs>